Oh, hi guys. It is another just ass-kicking, barn burner, ball-busting day here in the end times in the farmer paradise of Garfield, Texas, where it is, good God, at least triple digits, maybe four digits outside. So uh, Sancho Panza and I were taking a little break from packing our gas-sucking truck. Yes, packing our gas-sucking truck here in Tuesday, June 5th, 2018. You know, as I mentioned, another rant this morning. We are finally getting ready to pull out on our next adventure. As Sancho Panza and Hambo Little Tail disappear into, I guess, the sunrise. We are heading east and north this year, leaving Thursday morning. Probably will not be back until November. And I have no clue what uh, this summer and most of this fall are going to hold. But uh, one thing that I'm, I'm hoping to have happen this year is that I'm going to be meeting a lot more of my tribes members. I'm going to be meeting a lot of a lot of you folks on the east side of Texas this year, and I am very much looking forward to this. But you know, there is a little bit of of trepidation about it, about uh, the dangers of mixing social media with real life friends. Uh, many, many horror stories out there about people on social media trying to jump the shark from uh, cyberspace to real life. What are you looking out there? Is there a squirrel or what? Uh, so anyway, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous and but oh well there is only one way to find out and that's to dive into it so uh, anyway, part of this, you know, looking at, at, at heading out and meeting up with who knows who over the next five to six months, uh, and looking back over the tribes members that I have met in my life, which is pretty much just in the past year, the vast majority, I think, <clears throat> pretty much, except for two, uh, people that I have met, uh, you know, in real life have just been in the last year and so uh, I started doing some some tallying uh, of what has happened and to to the various friendships and whatnot and just come came up with some interesting I don't know. I, I just think these are interesting statistics. So, and of course, you can imagine uh, the, the main point I'm trying to figure out from these statistics. And I'm trying to answer the question after reading over this list. I'm just going to ask the question Are all Duber chicks destined? to become psycho bitches. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not a good record, ladies. Uh, how many, how many people, people have I met in real life here on, from the tribe? Uh, we're going to hit 5,400 tribes members uh, in the next 24 hours. So out of 5,400 tribes members, I just want to break it down a little bit. Uh, some of these, some of these statistics, and just trying to figure out what it all means. So, are we going to start with the boys, or are we going to start with the girls? All right, let's start with the boys. But before we get into the question, are are all Doomer chicks destined to turn into psycho bitches? Uh, which has certainly been a question on my mind in the past week or so. Anyone who's been following my rants through the environs of of Reno, Nevada, and thereabout, uh, we'll get we'll get back to the girls in a minute. Just want to take a survey of the boys, and then we'll talk about the girls. 
Okay, in real life, I have actually, literally, physically met up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I have met up, you know, in person with 12 of my fellow, uh, of my fellow Doomer boys uh, over the past year, you know, in real life. And then I would say there's probably four more guys that I that I have taken my friendship, although we've never met, I would say there's at least four more people that I am on a regular personal emailing and maybe some phone calling and whatnot. So I would almost throw those four guys into the list. So making a total of 16 men. And interestingly enough, out of these 16 men, here, here is the breakdown uh, that out of 16, I would only say that one of them, and, and I wouldn't even include this, I, I, there, there, there are two gray areas of men that I have met in the past year where the friendship did not work out. And I'm, I'm sorry for that. One of them, uh, we had a little misunderstanding about you know, something. Anyway, and then one, and, and I don't mind saying this, this is uh, Paul the Thoughtful Wanderer, who I met up there in Washington. I really hit it off with Paul the Thoughtful Wanderer. He came and camped with me for a few nights up there at uh, Baker Lake and we immediately struck up a friendship and I am very sorry it is one of one of the big regrets that my friendship uh, that Paul uh, the thoughtful wanderer has seen fit to write me out of his life because uh, he and I have another friend, well, he has a friend in the Doomosphere that, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, Hambone Little Tail has what Paul would probably say, uh, treated a little unfairly, and so Paul, the thoughtful wanderer, has thought about it, and obviously, if since uh, I do not love all of his friends, he anyway. Whatever, Paul, uh, brother Paul, uh, Paul, if you're listening to me, I love you, brother, and I'm sorry that you, because you are friends with someone else in the Doomosphere who I choose not to be friends with that you cannot be friends with me anyway. I'm sorry to see you go. And I hope, I really hope this doesn't set anything off uh, with uh, my, my, my old buddy Jim Bob. He is, Jim Bob uh, is a very interesting example of, uh, of the opposite, of it, it, the male version of a psycho bitch. So Jim Bob and I, we have a very unusual history that that Jim Bob was actually uh, one of my single most vicious trolls ever in the history of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, this absolute, I, I was actually uh, c considering taking legal action against this man and it, it's, it ends up that we've actually met and become good friends. So. There are two sides to the coin. Just, just so it's not always friends uh, falling apart, you can actually, unbelievably, and I've proven it here in real life, uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, that, there, that the process works both ways. And that somebody who started out as, as a troll uh, once they meet such the great guy, Hambone Little Tail, then we actually became good friends. And I would actually uh, include a another man 
uh, whose name I shall not use, kind of borderline along this. I was uh, when when this guy first joined the tribe, I was this close to banning him. He had one more chance to get banned, and he and I have become uh, very good buddies. So there you go. It does work both ways. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about boys. I'm here to talk about the girls. I am here. I am my little talent. Imagine that your old doomsday lonely heart is is here to talk about talk about the doomer chicks, the doomer chicks that I have met or may or may not meet in the future. Uh, and let's and let's look at the record here. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself more and more and more trouble as I head through this rant. So uh, if you just want to fast forward to Hambo and Little Tail getting himself in deep deep shit with the Doomer chicks, uh, psycho bitches or not, then uh, just fast forward a few minutes. But anyway, that's just kind of do uh, what I just did with the boys. Okay, in real life, how many of my uh, Doomer chicks in the tribe have I actually met? Met in real life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I have met fifteen of the Doomer chicks in the tribe. Uh, for whatever reason, they have made the awful error in judgment to actually meet Hambo and Little Tail in the flesh. Uh, and I would almost add, kind of like I did with here, there's, I would say there's six more of you Doomer Chick ladies that, though I've never met you yet anyway, and I hope I will at some point, there's six more of you ladies uh, where I have been on a, uh, a more, I don't want to use the word intimate terms exactly, because uh, that would give the uh, wrong impression, but we have taken the friendship a little bit farther uh, than the comment section on, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and you know, we email regularly or whatnot, or we did. And so we're going to call it, I'm going to sort of add those six, what did I say to the third, so that makes a total of 19. So out of the 19 Doomer Chicks I have met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, a total of six, a total of six of these Doomer Chicks have gone psycho bitch on me. Six out of 19, that's, what is that? Well, six out of 18, if there's a, six out of 19, that is about a 30%, a 30% failure rate uh, on the female side. Six out of 19 uh, females, for whatever reason, uh, have gone psycho bitch on me, and obviously this it, it it makes me it makes me just a little nervous about uh, about continuing to meet uh, females from the doomosphere a 30 percent doomer chick psycho bitch uh, rate what, what, what's going on here, ladies? 30% uh, of you. Uh, now, two of those, two of those are, uh, are, are ladies I've never met. So of the six, of the six, you know that um, emailing, took taking it to the next level of friendship, Two of the six uh, have gone psycho bitch on me, and one of them she never comments on my videos, so I've never banned her. 
because she doesn't comment on videos. She just comments to my face. And then, of course, I did have to, uh, I, I did have to ban another one of, uh, another lady that I've never had the pleasure of, of ever meeting in the flesh. And I did have to let her go recently. She has the honor of being the only person that I can imagine that has been banned both by Hambone Little Tail and Dude! Darling, you know, if you're a Doomer chick and you have been shit canned by Hambone Little Tail and Dude! Uh, you gotta take a long hard look at yourself in the mirror, girl, is all I can say. That, that is a true honor uh, because I would say both Hambone and Dude have pretty wide latitudes of particularly in the female spectrum of, of who they like to email. Anyway, but enough about uh, you know who. So, what does that leave? So, 13 of you girls, 13 of uh, Doomer chicks that I have I've met in real life. Uh, now, a couple. Well, okay, I won't say that. I, I well, I, I, a few of them, two or three of them, were just very brief meetings, kind of hello for lunch and whatnot. So if you take them out, we got four out of pretty much four out of ten. So a, a, a you know of ladies that I that I've actually gotten to know uh, would would call myself friends of, you know, in real life, that I've actually met in real life, four out of ten have gone, uh, have gone psycho bitch on me. Uh, and now two of those, so two of those four, so twenty percent uh, went psycho bitch on me when, when there was no uh, shall we say pink line involved. I mean, I never got anywhere near crossing the pink line with two of the four of the girls. Now, maybe the Doomer chicks, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I certainly think one of them more than the other was giving me uh, all sorts of green lights to uh, enter the pink zone with her. I could be deluding myself, but I don't think so. And maybe the fact that I uh, rejected their, uh, their pink line invitation, maybe that has something to do with them going psycho bitch on me. I don't know. So of course this gets us down to these final two where I have made the uh, horrendous error in judgment. Uh, so, out, out of these 19, I have only solidly crossed the pink line into the pink zone with one uh, Doomer check, and I think by now we all know how that one came crashing down. And then the other one I, you know, I guess we will call it the Bill Clinton version of the pink line. Uh, I got as, I, I, I would say I got as close to crossing the pink line. I, let, let's say we got, we came, came right up to the edge of the pink line where the pink line was drawn in the sand. And of course, that one, uh, as, as, as I've mentioned this story before, the hilarious thing about that one, this is this one uh, living right here in South Austin, Texas. Right here in South Austin, Texas, 
I, uh, I, I had, you know, an, an attractive, intelligent, funny, uh, you know, a, a, a pretty good match right here in, 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 in South Austin, Texas. I had a Doomer chick in the hand. And as I was knocking up against the pink line, I made the very horrendous uh, decision, I guess, to be honest, about the other pink line Doomer chick. And I was told by the Doomer chick in my hand, basically, to tell the Doomer chick in the bush to go take a hike, and like a goddamn fool, I did not listen to the Doomer chick in my hand, and so I went from having a Doomer chick in the hand and a Doomer chick in the bush, shall we say, in the bush, to having no Doomer chick in the hand or the bush. Uh, I, I went from two Doomer chicks uh, to no Doomer chicks on either side of the pink line, and uh, they were they were both uh, they were both vegans, so there was no future. I don't know, the, the one from Reno was a little bit more militant than the one from Austin. And uh, so the, now, the one from Austin, and Darlin, if, if, if you're listening to this, I, would, I really wish you would give me a call. I would like to get together with you tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, Hambone Little Tail is very much available to you. You know how to find me, but the thing about this Doomer chick, who had everything more in her favor than the Doomer chick in the bush from Reno, anyway, I, I did what I did because I'm just such a, a nice, honest guy. When I make a promise to a woman, like a damn fool, I keep it. And you see what uh, that got me. Uh, but this Doomer chick, she's in the interesting position that we had never met outside of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but I have a lot of friends who know this chick, and they all assure me that I ought to be goddamn glad things went, because everyone that I know who knows this chick is telling me she is the psycho bitch from hell. Now, uh, but of course, and, and these are people whose opinions I trust, uh, but at the same time, the people talking trash about this uh, Doomer chick that I, I went up right up to the pink line with is they're not Doomers. So I don't know. She was she was never a she she was never a psycho bitch to me so when i'm saying that she went psycho bitch i mean she really didn't that that's kind of unfair to the to this uh woman she she never uh she never you know went off psycho bitch on me uh she just politely uh the morning after uh she just said quite calmly and politely, Hambone, I'm going to give you a pass, is what she told me uh, when I announced to her that I was going to keep my date with the uh, Doomer chick from Reno in the bush, that I was not going, uh, because I'd already made the date with her and I was going to keep it. And so anyway, she did exactly what I would have done. In her case, if, if, if it had been, if, if the shoe had been on the other foot, I would have done exactly what she did. But I probably would have gone a little more psycho bitch than she did. So actually, 
I'm not even going to call you a psycho bitch. I mean, there's a lot of people in Austin who do call you a psycho bitch, but I'm not one of them. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. You've never been a psycho bitch to me, darling. I, I am very sorry that uh, that we did not uh, did not. Well, hell, I'm, I'm very sorry we did uh, not cross the pink line with each other. And uh, I'm going to be around for two more nights. And uh, you can even come with me on my... See, we, we had actually were making plans before she heard about the Doomer chick in the bush from Reno. We were actually talking about that she was going to be starting out this trip with me for the first few days and that invitation is still open. I, I actually sent her an email a, uh, a couple of days ago saying, darling, the, the invitation is still open. Uh, so if you're listening to this, uh, you're still invited. Um, but anyway, it's just you know, and, and I know that anybody in the Doomosphere, and, and, and this is whether you're male or female, I'm sure you have run up against this, that if you have fallen down into this rabbit hole, uh, you're, you're, just, you're just understanding how fucked, or, or in our case, how not fucked you are, that if you have to, for the rest of your life, it, it, if the only potential uh, mates available to you are ones you find down there and down here in this narrow little uh, narrow end of the bell curve, good God. Uh, and, and, and I want to make it clear, guys, that there seems to be some miscommunication that Hambone Little Tail, I don't even care. I want a girlfriend. I admit, guys, I, I, I'm sick and tired of this shit. I want to get a girlfriend. I am ready for a woman in my life. And I don't even need the woman in my life to be a doomer chick. In many ways, I, I'm hoping uh, that she's not a, a goddamn doomer chick since Clearly, doomer chicks are, are even more likely than the general female population to go psycho bitch on me. Uh, I don't... It's not a requirement for him a little tail to, for his girlfriend to be a doomer chick. Uh, you, you know, I've how many times have I mentioned the, the number one, uh, my, my best friend in in the world, and who was a former girlfriend of mine here in Austin, Texas, we, the relationship did not work. It was just a, it was too big of a difference in age. It was really what it came down to. She voted for Donald Trump. Uh, the person I love more than anybody in the world voted for Donald Trump, still supports Donald Trump to this day. She is a major chemtrail wacko. A completely over-the-top chemtrail wacko, and she is not 100% convinced that humans and dinosaurs did not walk the earth together. She thinks that humans and dinosaurs probably did not work, walk the earth together, but she doesn't know that humans and dinosaurs, you know, did not share the planet at the same time. She has not seen enough evidence to reach that conclusion. I assure you that she listens to Alex Jones and Rush Limbaugh more than she listens to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. She is the number one first uh, subscriber to the tribe, yet uh, she obviously she never listens to it. Uh, cause if she did and she hears this rant, uh, I'm going to get my ass kicked uh, by her. So anyway, I just want it clear for the record that I don't need 
being a doomer chick is not a prerequisite. Uh, the only prerequisite I have is that you're not a fucking psycho bitch. And, and, and that seems to be tough to find. Now, of course, what I realize is that uh, the only woman the, on the entire planet that would even consider uh, Hambone Littletail as a, uh, as a romantic partner is a doomer chick. C can you imagine anyone who is not a doomer chick getting in a relationship with me? Uh, that that's why you know the the very thought of it is so completely absurd, uh, absolutely absurd that it's never going to happen. Uh, so I have I have given up all hope, all hope of, of ever finding a woman who's not a doer chick, simply because. A woman who's not a doomer chick would have no interest in Hamlet and Littletail. Uh, but I am in the, the market for a non-doomer chick if one's around there. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to get myself in trouble here. So, so what I did is, uh, should I go here with this rant? So, so what I did is I made a list, Hambo made a list of every woman that he can remember, uh, <clears throat> that he can remember crossing the pink line with in Austin, Texas. Uh, I moved to Austin, Texas in October of 2000, and between October of 2000 and uh, when, when, when was it? The fall of 2008, when uh, you know I pulled my head out of my ass and became a uh, a non-clueless moron. When I became a doomer, I, I made my little list here, and I can remember 18 women, 18 women in Austin, Texas, that I soundly cross the pink line with, uh, and of those 18, 18, four of them went psycho bitch on me. 14 of these 18 women, uh, who not one of whom is a doomer chick. I mean, I went right up to the pink line with this doomer chick from Humpty Dumpty Tribe in South Austin in the past year, but I'm talking pre-Humpty Dumpty Tribe of the 18 that I can remember. Uh, I can I count four that are no longer speaking to me, and the other 14, uh, we're, we're, we're still perfectly good friends. I mean, if we see each other uh, socially, you know, uh, we're still friends. That you know, out of out of eighteen pink liners, uh, fourteen of them can compare that to the Doomer chick. Uh, pink liners out of one and a half pink liner pink liners, one and a half of them, one of them went psycho bitch on me and uh, will never speak to me again. And the other one, although she never even went psycho bitch on me, she will never speak to me again either. And I just don't get it. I, I, am, I, am, uh, I am batting, I am zero for two on, uh, on being on speaking terms uh, with, with these two Doomer chicks. Neither one of them will ever speak to me, to him on Little Tail again. Uh, and, and, and I do want and I do want to say that I have not banned either one of these women uh, from Humpty Dumpty Tribe, the Reno or South Austin. Uh, they have never done anything to me personally. They have they they you know our little uh, 
their, their little decision not to have me in their life has nothing whatsoever to do uh, with the Duna Sphere and, and with Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I haven't banned either one of them. Uh, they're very welcome to get now. Of course, as y'all, all, you probably some of you are figuring out. Of course, I did have to. I did have to ban a certain uh, Doomer chick here off the tribe in uh, a few days ago. But we won't get into that sad story of, uh, of, of 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 all the Doomer chicks. If I had to pick the top two Doomer chicks that, that I would have told you two weeks ago, there is no way in hell uh, if, if I had to pick uh, the, the two people that will never be banned uh, from Humpty Dumpty Drive, this Doomer chick would certainly be one of them, and what that was all about, I have no fucking idea. But uh, if, 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 if that Doomer chick uh, can go so psycho bitch on him on Little Tail to get banned from Humpty Dumpty Tribe when uh, Reno and South Austin are still in the tribe, it's, it's just a sad state of affairs. Uh, but anyway, so I don't know. Uh, you tell me, is, is there something about being a Doomer chick that just increases the probability of, of becoming a psycho bitch or not? I mean, it's, and then of course, you know, in, um, in, in Austin, I mean, not, you know, outside of the 18, I've, I've crossed the pink line with, you know, I probably, good God, I, I probably have 200 female friends in Austin, Texas. I mean, non-Doomer chicks that, that, that I've never even approached the pink line with. Not one of them. Not one of them in 18 years uh, of living in Austin, Texas. Uh, so, as I say, four of the 18 that I did cross the pink line with, psycho bitch. 14, we still get along fine, and, and, and 200 others. So let's call it, out of 200 uh, female friends, non-doomer chicks, four psycho bitches out of 19, 19 doomer chicks, Six. Six out of 19 versus four out of 200. So uh, you tell me, uh, are all Doomer chicks potential psycho bitches? And I think you can come up with your own answer, but despite, despite the obvious answer to that question, uh, I will continue to, uh, for some reason, believe that somewhere out there, somewhere out there, in the Doomosphere or not, there is a woman uh, on this planet that uh, wants what Hambone Littletail uh, has to offer. Uh, We will, we shall see, I guess. But anyway, I just wanted to get this off my chest. I've, I've actually had several of you suggest that we need to start a Doomer dating club. Oh, and, and I do want to mention. Oh, there, there's something else that I <laughs> that I that, that I forgot to mention. Uh, look, looking at the boy and girl side of this thing, that I notice inside the tribe that we have both, we have a lot of various spats between the different men and different women on the tribe. You know, in Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I've noticed uh, one, 
to just fairly recently three instances of, of men in the tribe uh, tangling with Doomer chicks uh, in the tribe. So, you know, there's two instances here where the women in the, how many do we have going here? Okay, I'm not going to mention any names. Here we have one of my buddies in real life now calling another woman on the list a psycho bitch. And it was an absolute sweetheart. If I had to think of this woman on the list, the least chance going psycho bitch would be this woman. Uh, yet, one of my male buddies has labeled her a psycho bitch. Here is another male buddy labeling another woman a psycho bitch. And I don't know, uh, brother, you do have a point. She hasn't been a psycho bitch to me. So, she doesn't have a PB by her name. So, I have another man get, calling another woman psycho bitch. Here is a third. Now, here is a woman calling a man. They're going back and forth calling each other psycho bitches. And then, of course, uh, my buddy who shall remain nameless, has been calling this uh, woman, uh, who shall also remain nameless, who has been letting me know since the day that uh, we all met this woman that I'm dealing, that I've been dealing with a serious psycho bitch. And, uh, anyway, guys, I'm not going to play matchmaker in the Doomosphere. I have enough trouble. So I'm done with this, all of this little stuff. Hambone, could you pass a message over to so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. Don't look at, don't come to me uh, to try to get your little love affair started down here in Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I am not a matchmaker. I am, I am never going to do that again. Uh, there's no future in it. But if anybody else wants to start a, uh, a dating club for doomers, I am all ears. So anyway, I'm just glad I got this off my chest uh, before I myself died back. I've been out of the doomosphere myself for how many days has it been since I have even opened the uh, mainstream media doomer headlines, much any of, much less any of the other ones. Nine days break I have had from the doomosphere, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to head back down there again or not. Because guys, I have to admit it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice out of the doomosphere, and I've actually met some very nice women uh, on my travels. The, 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 one, uh, the, the one, shall we say, encounter I had with a psycho bitch was in, believe it or not, Reno, Nevada. And, uh, oh, and, and, I, and I meant to say, I have met two women from Reno, Nevada. And the other one who came and camped with me up at the hot springs. We had a nice week, spent a nice weekend up at the hot spring uh, under the full moon together uh, last summer. Uh, in no way, shape, or form was that woman a psycho bitch. A very nice woman in Reno, Nevada, but of course we did not, uh, we did not traipse around the pink line so that might or might not have something to do with it, but I am. I just want y'all to understand that there are some very nice non-psycho bitch women in Reno, Nevada, here in the tribe. And uh, 
any who's, I think I've gotten myself in enough trouble and I've cooled off in front of the AC, so I'm going to get back to packing my gas-sucking truck so uh, I can keep meeting my friends in Humpty Dumpty Drive and uh, hoping things turn out well for all of us. Bye, guys. What do you think, Pancho Panza? Have you met any psycho bitches in the doggy doomosphere? <laughs>